host, Tegan. I'm here with Jacobs Trading. If you haven't heard of us before, make sure you check out the description below. That'll take you to our website for more information. Today we're going to be talking about Peacock Ore and the wonderful fun that this stone is. Alright guys, so I've laid out a selection here of a bunch of different colors to show you what Peacock Ore looks like. It ranges from yellows to greens to purples to blues. This one has some nice purple and blue on it. This one has more into yellow tones. So the coloration can vary a lot between pieces. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what is peacock ore. Peacock ore can be made up of a couple different rocks, but the main two that it is made up of is boronite and chalcopyrite. So chalcopyrite is this brassy kind of color. It's not pyrite, it's a slightly different form of it, but it tends to be kind of brassy, so that's what this one is. And boronite tends to be kind of a reddish kind of brown color on the inside. So in addition to the color variations that you can get in the stone, you can also get various inclusions. So inclusions are a different stone that aren't always in there that kind of invade the rock. So in this one we have veins of quartz that are through here, this white stone. This one we actually have a piece of garnet, so that's this dark stone right in the middle here, and this one on this side. This stone actually has an inclusion of pyrite, so the, the reason that the, you see gold in this one is it's pyrite, not the chalcopyrite, which are two different stones. So the chalcopyrite is the part that oxidizes, and in this stone there's pyrite inclusions which aren't oxidizing. So the main question we get asked a lot about peacock ore is, are those colors natural or are they painted? Yes, they are natural. They actually occur from an oxidization of the stones. So next we're going to talk about how that happens. So tarnish is actually an oxidization of the stone. So when a stone is broken open like we did with this one, this area has now been exposed to oxygen and the copper that is located in the stone will now react and cause the colors. The coloration that you see on the stone is actually only atoms thick. So when people break open a stone say and they go, see look it's not coloration on the inside so it must be fake. It's supposed to be that way because it doesn't actually occur until it is exposed to air. So the variation in colors that you see are actually caused by the thickness of the tarnish. So the thicker the tarnish, the more light that is absorbed, so which causes the darker colors. So essentially a, a younger tarnish is the yellows and the greens, and an older tarnish which is thicker is these blues and purples. So what could cause this is maybe when the stone was broken, this area was the first part exposed and then this area might be what had some dirt on it and it was cleaned later on. And as you can see through the video, uh, tarnish actually is what is the result of this blackening of my hands. So you can see it's black. So it's kind of like jewelry as well, when you get a silver necklace that tarnishes, it's the same process. And if you rub a silver necklace, it'll do the same thing. You can see that it's not the coloration that's coming off on my hand, there's no flecks of shiny things that are appearing, but it's actually this black color that's occurring, which is the tarnish. Thanks for joining me today and talking about peacock ore. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit like and subscribe. If you have any questions about what we did today, feel free to drop it in the comments below. And have a great rest of your week.